guys and welcome back to my video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to lay out one of my monthly kits. Um, I promised that I would do this in one of my new releases and I think it's really helpful just so that you guys can see how my kits look in a planner and also like where to size everything up because I know every shop sizes everything differently and it's just kind of helpful. So I'm going to go into March because this kit is made for March. It's January right now so I don't really have stuff, you know, a lot of stuff in my head. So I'm just going to plan out whatever I can and I have the neutral planner so it's going to be a little different compared to the colorful. And what I do since I have the neutral planner is I always start with the little, the days that aren't there, the washi basically. And this kit I did draw by myself. So this log was drawn by me and I think it's so cute. So what you do is I kind of just, it should go up to the last dot. So you could go from like, put it down like this to the other side. I like to try to just center it like this just cause it's a lot easier. And I just go right above the dots. So you could still see the dots under. I don't know if you could actually see. Sorry if you could hear the helicopters. They're doing the routine inspection of the area. But yeah, so here's the dotted part. I just go like right above the dots. Oh my god, it's already looking so cute. And then I start with this. And you can either switch it up so you could put the month this month on the other side, or you could put this right here. I just keep it on the left side just because I'm kind of used to it like that. And this is like a little rainforest in the back or whatever forest, not rainforest, just a forest. And I put it right on top of the log. So you just line it up just like this. There you go. And then flip it to the other side. I just kind of open it up. Since there's no lines in the neutral one, I just open it up and I kind of have to guesstimate, so. There's like a little bit of a line through here, like from the page before, or the page after, if you could see it. It's just like a little faint line right here. So what I did before was I just lined it up to this, cause it's kind of in line with the, um, with the dots, so. Ooh, that's kind of low. So you can just kind of guesstimate and kind of mirror or if you have a neutral because there is no way you're gonna get it exactly right and this should pull all the way to the other side i just can't i'm gonna have to flip it this way this part is so stressful guys i should have placed it on my hand before i did this but you know we all make mistakes so I'm just flipping it over and placing it down, trying to keep it as straight as possible. Looks pretty even. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then, so for this, you can just leave it as is, or you can put on this, um, like the weekly little header things. Sometimes it does look cuter without it, or but I'm just gonna put it on today. Just to show you guys because I'm trying to use everything in my kit. So what I do is you can either put it right on top of the banner. But I like to put it in between the seams because, you know, um, it's not like it makes a huge difference anyways. See? Like that. So it looks just like this. I mean, it's probably not that straight. I probably, probably put it on crooked. But looks pretty good. And then... And then for the other side, I'm just going to put it right on the banner. I am using a Misfit kit just because I don't want to waste any stickers, you know. I want to give the good stickers to you guys. So, yeah, if you guys see any imperfections, that's why it's a Misfit kit. But I put this header on the banner directly because the dates are in here and I don't want to cover that. So then uh, I guess now I'm going to put down the little what are these called holidays 
I have St. Patrick's Day, which is on the 17th. And this should fit exactly in the box. I made it a box length. Yep, so they go from dot to dot. So you want ah, it's not. <laughs> so you want to line it up on the dot. There you go. So that's what that one looks like. And then I think I had Good Friday and I didn't do Passover. Oh, look. It's all wood grain, dang it. I didn't even realize that. Okay, and then we're gonna put on Good Friday right there. And flip it onto this side. It is daylight saving time. Again, line it up to the dots. I always have like a bunch of noises in my videos now. It bothers me. Like every time I play on it's just like noise, noise, noise. And then there's a day of happiness. International Day of Happiness, which is on the 20th. So I made one for that too. And then for Spring Begins, it's on the same day. And then for Psalm, or is it Psalm or is it Palm? Palm Sunday? I mean, they do use palms, so. And then I'm just gonna stick this one here. Just like that. And then I did add some deco here so you guys can just put it anywhere, but I'm just gonna show you that last. Now onto the sidebar, I have four here. For my sidebars, you do have to use oh, one of the full boxes. So I'm just gonna start with oh, brown. I guess we'll do brown. Okay, and what you do is you line it up to where the end of the full box is. or end of the banner and then you just place it down just like that and then we're just gonna keep going I'm just gonna take some random colors and the grays and then a green and then I'm just gonna put a full box at the bottom in it the reason why I did only four was because I feel like people only use four especially me I only use four and four is kind of pushing it a little bit but I'm gonna take one of these forest full box and I'm just gonna put it down here just like that oh I like that kind of like seemingly goes into here I think that's cute and then I have these headers on here where you could actually place them into each of the little sidebars so I'm gonna do that for myself goals I kind of lighten the inside of the box just so that you guys know where to place it and I also um, you can also write in your own if you want I just kind of like doing this a little bit better just because I hate my handwriting when I write these sidebars or habit trackers because they're never like centered Okay, so that's what the sidebar looks like. And now for break. So my spring break is from the 18th to the 24th. So I'm just going to put that down. And I do have these right here. These are the little strips that you use. Okay, so I'm just going to put this one down. So I made it so it's like two boxes and then this is split into one and this should be a length of the whole page. I feel like that's enough washi for people, right? Because I know there's some shops that do a lot of washi. Um, and you know, there are some months where, you know, you're always busy, but for me it isn't. And you can always cut it down, that's why I try to leave one long one. So that's what I'm actually gonna do for this side is I'm just gonna cut it down. 
and I always try to line it up to the dots. I do leave a little space for you guys in between the sidebar and the boxes. I don't know if that's going to be the same for the colorful planners because I don't have one to reference. But I just like that because when there's like bottom washi, you put it down here and there is a little bit of gap on the side so it doesn't look too congested. So I'm just going to take my ruler, snip off my excess. Okay, and I really like how that turned out. So there's what the spring bank looks like. I'm going to mark it somehow using one of my stickers. Okay, so I have this sheet and this is like um, I made for myself, but I think I am going to put this on sh in the shop one day. I just haven't decided when. I just kind of like this. So I think I'm just going to put it right over. This is spring break. That is so cute. Okay, so I have spring break all throughout and then we can put down birthdays. Okay, so in here, I do have these little half boxes and these I made smaller than the full box so that you can center them because I think that looks so cute when you center them, you know? Especially for like these half boxes. So I just kind of center them. Just like this. So it's my dad's birthday this day. And then it's Mr. Bates' birthday on the 14th. And also our month anniversary but I'm just gonna mark his birthday and brown one this in the middle and I think spring quarter starts on the 26th but I don't want to mark it down yet just in case I'm wrong and that's about it I don't think I have anybody else's birthday in March actually wow okay so I do have bills do so on the first and then i have these do stickers right here these little little things i guess and um i put do on a lot of them and then i left some blank so you can use the do's as like assignment do's or bill do's like i'm doing bill do's today so i'm gonna put one right here and this is the size the length of the box And then on the second, I have a bill due, but a gray one. So this one goes from dot to dot. I just want to let you know. So the sizing, that's different. Everything basically goes from dot to dot. So from line to line, except for the half boxes, because I think it's kind of cuter when it's like centered. And that's about it for my Jews. Um, I want to put the full boxes down just to show you guys, but at the same time I don't because I don't know what I'm going to have to cover up and what I'm not going to have to cover up. And I don't want to cover up a day and then have to lift it up, you know? Or actually, I can just stick it on top of these. I forgot. I actually make my boxes so that you're able to cover it up without covering up too much, you know? So I'm just going to place it down on random days. So I'm going to put one. Again, these fit in between the lines. So the lines, do, the dots do border it. And then I'm going to take my fox sitting on a log because that is super cute. And I'm probably going to put it on 15 now. That's kind of heavy. Put it on the 9th this box. I'm just going to put this box on the 28th. Okay, just like this. Okay, so here is everything down. I'm going to zoom out just to show you guys and actually show you guys what it looks like when I decorate it. So I have these decos here for you guys. These are actually different sizes, so yeah, just in case you're wondering. And I'm just going to randomly place... Ooh, I didn't even, like, calculate if these logs are big enough. 
These hogs are pretty big, actually. Hmm. Do it like this. I think I'm going to wait to put down the logs because just in case something happens in those days, I don't want to cover it up because this is my only EC too. I don't have like a moth burner EC. I want to take the fox. Okay, I'm just going to put the fox and bunny. Fox right here. With a roaring fire. I think do like the big fire. Or maybe put the big fire on the side. And then we're gonna put Mr. Bunny. Right next to them. Right next to him. Because they're besties, just like this. And you can like literally decorate it however you want. I'm probably going to put another bunny up here just because I like the bunny. So I'm going to put him right up here because he's so cute. And again, I did draw all these clip arts also. So it's very unique to the shop. So you won't find this kit anywhere else. I am also going to put this fire on down here. Like a little campfire okay so here's how this looks i'm just gonna fill everything in and i'm actually gonna show you guys how i do these dots towards the end okay so here's what everything looks like all filled in and now i'm gonna show you how to do the sidebars so on this sheet or in this kit i actually added these little dots and they're the gray dots I use them as check marks. You don't have to. You can use them as other things. But I really like the dots as check marks. Okay, so I'm just gonna put one on each right now because I don't really know how much I want. And they are made to fit in here, like in between the lines, just like this. And then, like when you reach that goal or something, then you could put a check mark there. And what I like about it is that you can alternate because if you guys watch my plan with me, you know how I love alternating my little check boxes. It just looks a lot cleaner and I just love it. Love how it looks. See, so this kit is basically pretty customizable to how you like things. I left things pretty general. See, like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to write this off camera. Plus, I don't really know what I really want to write in here yet because it is only January and this is like two months away. And these little icons I did make myself. I do have something similar to these, but these are like the clinking glass ones. And it's up in my shop if you want to check that out. So here are the leftover sheets. I still have like a strip of washi left which is I'm probably gonna throw away and then I have the dew stickers left with the half boxes more of these little dots and then the half boxes and some deco left um yeah so I'm probably gonna keep this because I kind of I'm gonna see if I can fill in the deco one day once I get to March um but here's how everything turned out I hope you guys found this video really helpful I hope you check out my shop to see the monthly kits that I have to offer. The link will be down in the bottom bar below. And yeah, I really liked um, doing this. I haven't done the monthly spread in a long time. So yeah, hope you guys like this. Give me a thumbs up if you do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.